<laughs> hear that shit, hear it again. Play that shit, play up the jam. The J-A-M, the Just Ask Mickey Show. That's right, you ask questions and we answer them. Hey my friends, this is Mickey Funk, live from Ibiza. And today's question is, does anyone else live with horrible self-esteem? So, I wrote this book, yeah, as I told you in, in, a, in another episode, but <laughs> it's not that you write a book and then you're, <laughs> you know your shit, you know, like, <laughs> I, I wrote this book and what I realized was actually I, I have to practice what I wrote for myself and um, that was that was like the the main thing I had to learn because when you write something when something comes to you because that is what what creativity is at the end we we become these channels right and then something comes through us and it 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 might be a form of book or or a, a cake or um, a painting or a, a picture whatever or a song so you you create something and then you have to experience it you have to eat the cake you know you have to, to you have to live the book you have to do all these things that you wrote to yourself so that's what i started to do so basically i i started to practice this daily and if you feel that it is so bad that your self-esteem I can just recommend you to do something that you do daily where you reprogram actually your thoughts because you have horrible self-esteem because you're thinking horrible things and thoughts and as we know thoughts become things so the more you think <laughs> horrible things about yourself the more you say like I'm such a bad person I lost this I lost this I'm not like this I'm not I can't do this the more you make yourself believe that it is true you lost your creativity you uh, people did not let you do your, your you you could not be how you want so I see that a lot actually when people start this healing journey and we start to unravel it we start to see oh i i don't love myself and then you start to circle around your navel more and more you know and then oh this i have to heal there and there and and it never ends you know and and i think what is very important is to see it is part of it but then you have to go on you have to chop water again and you have to carry carry wood you know like it's not you're done now you you know okay you know it you you have to to have establish a routine something that makes you go and I don't mean by that like you have to do every day 30 minutes of that every day 30 minutes maybe you have to do that maybe you have some periods where you have to do that and it, it's very important I did like a lot of periods where I said like okay for 21 days I um, won't eat this or that or in 21 days I will stop smoking tobacco for example that's how how I stopped smoking so it's beautiful because what you do with that is you regain your trust in yourself because what we do on this path is we don't trust ourselves any longer because we talk so bad with ourselves we say like this is wrong and that is wrong and I will change myself and then I don't I will never eat chocolate again and then next thing you do you eat chocolate again and then you think like oh shit I'm I'm such a loser I cannot even not eat chocolate yeah and through that you come into the into this circle of blaming you blame yourself and you beat yourself up because you you don't trust yourself you, you you promise yourself and you don't hold this promise so to break this cycle you have to find something that you do on a regular basis that gives you joy 
Sometimes it won't give you joy, but start with something, 21 days. So 21 days to implement something because how we create habits, it is through this routine. So if you always think I'm, I'm shitty, I'm shitty, I'm shitty, I'm shitty, and you look at the mirror, you think like, oh my God, I'm getting old, I'm getting old, I'm getting old. <laughs> you have to understand yourself programming yourself. So to break that, it's great to, to do, for example, 21 days of, of detox, 21 days of self-love. That's, that's actually like, like um, what you could do if you want to go deeper to, to come with me on 21 days of self-love. I, I created this process where you, yeah, where you can implement every day like a little drop, you know. I, I believe in this homeopathic way where you say like, okay, a little drop because it's never, it's, it's not too big step from where you are right now and where you want to be. Where you, where you want to be, you want to be full of self-esteem. You want to be full of love that you are. You want to radiate this love every moment, every breath and to be fully aware in this moment and vibrating this frequency of love. So, yeah, if you want to join me, you can um, have a look at, at this 21 days. If not, it's also fine. We do this 120 days. <laughs> you you um, stay with me. Um, yeah, stay with me, stick with me. Like, this is very easy. This is like the easiest self-love formula you can have, you know. Hey, my friends, if you have more questions, join me on my Patreon. Love you. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> See you later.